Oh yeah, welcome again everybody. So um, this, this last week as I was traveling around listening to Southern Star, um, I heard a comment which I thought was quite interesting and I'd like to share with you before we get underway. And a successful businessman was asked, what's the secret to your success? And the reply that he gave was three words. And the three words were, and then some, and then some. In other words, the secret to success, um, according to this businessman, was, was going the extra mile, doing that bit extra. Um, and of course, represented by those three words, and then some. And I was thinking about that in relation to our Christianity. And I thought, you know what? That is exactly the way we should be with our Christianity. It should be, and then some. And I was thinking of examples of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Do you remember when he fed the 5,000? And he started off with um, five loaves, two fish, and he got 12 baskets of fragments. And then he fed 4,000, and he had um, seven loaves and a few fish, and they got seven baskets of fragments. And I don't know if you've ever thought about it. Why, why have a whole lot left over? You know, Jesus, um, in accordance with his father's will, had the spirit of God without measure. Um, God is the greatest mathematician ever. He knew how many people there were. He knew the volume of their stomach. He knew how much he could provide to fill their stomach, to make them full. But there were still 12 baskets of leftovers and seven baskets of leftovers. And you know, maybe possibly they got distributed to the people as they left for later. We're not actually told that. Uh, certainly wouldn't have been given to the pigs because it was illegal for the Jews to farm pigs and wouldn't have been given to the dogs because dogs weren't pets in those days. They were regarded as vermin effectively. And you, know, you think about why did God get this maths wrong? Why all these fragments? And I think one of the reasons is that God is demonstrating he is this and then some God. And I also thought of that scripture in Luke 6, 38, which says, give and good measure will be given to you. Press down, shaken together and running over, it will be given into your bosom. For the same measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. So again here, there is this idea of, well, if you give, God won't just give in accordance to what you give. He will actually give pressed down, shaken together and flowing over. And it reminded me, um, remember John McIver telling me when he was managing the IFC farm and they would produce vegetables and crops that they would sell. And whenever anyone came to buy product, he would always add a bit more. And this, of course, was John's way of, of being this type of person, giving more than he took. And in Christianity, we must not be a minimalist. You know, minimalists do just the least possible to get by. You know, it's like passing school C. You know, you don't really want to flunk, but you don't want to study. So you do just enough to get 50%. You pass. Yay, I can go away and say I passed. Well, as Christians, we're to be like our Lord. We're to be giving so much so that there is just so much left over as well. And there's a couple of scriptures in the book of Revelation that I'll read to you now. Revelation 12, verse 17. Uh, this is the, the end time period of the dragon um, and the woman. And it says the dragon was angry with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And then it says the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and some and have the testimony. And one of the, the, the meanings of that word testimony is the witness. And they have the witness of Jesus Christ. So, again, here's people in that time, the seed of the woman, they'll be believing Jews. They don't just keep the commandments. They have and some, they also have the witness of Jesus Christ. And in Revelation 14, verse 12, it says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and 
the faith of Jesus Christ. So again, in this end time period, when the persecution will be rife, when the beast will be in control, these saints don't just keep the commandments, they have and some. They have the faith of Jesus Christ. So as we come before our Lord this morning, in a moment, we're going to be praising our God. We're going to be worshiping our God. Some of you hopefully will be offering a prayer of thanks or intercession to the Lord. And then we're going to be hearing from his word. Let's just focus on that, the type of people we should be and some people, the people who aren't just Christians in a minimalist sort of way, keeping the commandments doing what we hope will just be enough to scrape through to the favor of God, but rather like our Lord, um, a people who are actually so giving and so expressing of ourselves to the Lord that there is just baskets of fragments left over. <laughs> 